Hey everybody, today's topic is mindset because this is probably one of the biggest barriers and obstacles that I see for first time home buyers, especially my generation, to making the first step to getting themselves the first home and then moving on from there. The first one's always daunting. I'm not disagreeing with you on that. It's scary to buy this big of an investment. But after the first one, you're usually like, whatever, I get it, the process makes sense, and this all checks out. I have a short story. Uh, I had two people come by my event this weekend, basically the same person, they were both teachers, this side of the fence of this teacher. She was in a friend group of other teachers and they were all renting and she was under the preconceived notion that until those other teachers that were older than her started buying property, she wouldn't be able to, she couldn't even qualify for it. And so she just had that stuck in her head, like it's not happening for me. This side of the fence, Great position. This teacher was paying $600 a month in rent and he was doing it to save up for a down payment to buy a home next year. Although we're having a conversation, it could be possible for him to purchase something this year and put himself in ahead of where he would be if he started next year. And so the, the, the gist of the story is just kind of being open-minded. You know, this teacher is gonna kind of be stuck in her ways for a while, uh, probably until she dies, to be honest, because most people that are in that mentality are part of the 49% renter percentile here in the United States. And it's a excellent vehicle for people to utilize to build themselves some sort of financial freedom down the road. Uh, as we get older, that becomes harder and harder to obtain. So the younger you start, the better. And I'm not saying that you're a negative person. Maybe you're just not informed enough or you just need to answer some questions so that you can be clear on what it is the exact steps that you're trying to take to achieve whatever your real estate goals are. It's not so black and white. You can do whatever you want with real estate, but you do need somebody to guide you. So the whole point of today, and I'm beating a dead horse every video I put out here because it's <laughs> perpetual, this is basically to reach out to your professional. They should be willing to sit down with you for free. This is what we do. And even if you're not in Colorado, reach out to us. We can get you connected with people. Put your friends in the comments below if you know somebody who is suffering with the pain of renting. Uh, it's free to sit down. All it takes is a little bit of your time. Typically, you get a free coffee out of it. We do some discovery. I ask some provocative questions to figure out you know, exactly what it is you're trying to achieve, how we can help you on that journey, and build out a roadmap so that instead of trying to just guess what the next step is, you just go, okay, here's the way to do it. So I'll take your hand and I'll guide you through it, but you gotta have an open mind that the possibilities are out there for you and that we can make things work. There's a lot of options for us out here, but if you don't know somebody that knows the options, then you're gonna be led astray and you're never gonna make a move because there are too many options. So reach out, let's get you settled in with some sort of game plan so you can start figuring out your life and building out whatever the future is that you're trying to achieve. Appreciate your time, we'll see you next time.